This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is Section 9. Healing and Medicines, the Use of Symbols Hi David, I ordered and received the ACIM books and I'm just getting started. The course teaches that believing in medicine is like believing in magic and I can see that. I have over the last several years adjusted and increased vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, amino acids, herbs, etc. to try and improve several conditions that I had associated with age, inheritance, stress, etc. However, while doing this, I have been also implementing practices of recognizing belief systems and their origins, releasing the need for them and also releasing others from blame as I discovered that some of the beliefs were based on unforgiveness. I have relentlessly pursued releasing and forgiving life perspectives and people who might have contributed to such beliefs. Of course, I have had dramatic health changes but have attributed my wellness to the change in my thoughts as well as to the nutrients. As I look at it though, most likely most of my healing has probably come about because of the release of those belief systems. However, Some of those healings may have come about because of belief in certain nutrients. Also, can you give me an understandable definition of level confusion as is mentioned often in ACIM? Beloved one, thanks for writing. The saying goes, Mind over matter. Illness and health are solely mental. And the belief in the physical or the manifest is the basis of all conflict, disease, stress and upset. The mind is causative. Yet the sleeping mind remembers not the making of the world. The sleeping mind believes that the world the ego made turned around and made the body self. This is the belief in physical birth. Thus it appears that events and circumstances happen to the body apart from its asking or control. The first step in healing this cause-effect split and reversal is opening to the realization that everything which seems to happen is the result of belief. The mind perceives what the mind believes. Questioning what is believed is therefore a way of raising the ego belief system to the light. Level confusion is the belief that time-space matter is causative instead of an unreal effect of an unreal cause. There is nothing causative in the material universe and the sleeping mind is imprisoned by its own beliefs. Once the ego belief system is exposed as having no foundation, the effects it seemed to produce are seen as causeless. 
appearances and images are seen for what they are illusion and no longer are they endowed with life and meaning right mindedness or miracle mindedness is the end of level confusion for the miracle simply sees the false as false the miracle does not judge the contents of consciousness for it sees their unreality the holy spirit looks not to effects having judged their cause as unreal the ego is the unreal cause trust the holy spirit in the transformation of the mind the holy spirit will reinterpret everything perceived with a new perspective if you do the workbook lessons of acim and read the text with openness and willingness you will see that the holy spirit orchestrates everything of time space for your benefit time is actually under the direction of the miracle worker for the miracle worker is aligned with the holy spirit's use of time the holy spirit will instruct you on what is most helpful in terms of using time and the symbols of time the body diet medicine exercise and activity in general are best given over to the holy spirit the specifics are used by the holy spirit in the workbook practice until the divine principle is transferred and applied so consistently that the belief in specifics is completely undone in accepting atonement the mind is thus prepared for the remembrance of light or divine abstraction in god